Remember to subscribe for daily top reddit stories. Ok story time. Zookeepers of reddit. How are the animals acting differently now that there are no visitors to the zoo? As a zookeeper coordinator I've been working at the now closed zoo almost every day for the past month. Animals that are free roaming, peacocks, iguanas, are more active, and follow keepers around like they usually do with visitors. Most of the others don't show much change in behavior, although birds like swans and flamingos are using the edges of their habitats more. In our local zoo the apes started to miss the visitors so they brought in an artist in who's now just painting in the empty monkey house so the apes have someone to watch. Edit. Whoa this blew up overnight you're up they could tell they missed the visitors because they became very bored and are much more excited about the keepers than usual. Apparently they watch the visitors as much as the other way around. The keepers now have to pay them more attention to and they also do stuff like hide food for them as a game also. Sorry for the confusion. I am not a zookeeper myself but I live close by the zoo and it was in the local news and such. <laughs> Due to temporary staff cuts, they no longer have the people to regularly walk the wombats. Some of the wombats are holding the keepers personally responsible. Imagine having a 20 kilogram chunk of muscle with big rodent teeth mad at you. I'm just trying to see the penguins walk around the zoo in person man. That's all I want. My wife works at the gift shop for our zoo and the other day we had to go move some stuff around in the store because due to some heavy rains, it had flooded a bit. Of course we took a lap around the empty park other than the keepers and few maintenance workers, and found that all the animals were really active and playful. A lot of them seemed really curious about us too. I'm sure they get used to seeing crowds every day and were starving for attention. Not a zookeeper but I hear the lions a lot more from my house now. Weirdly reassuring to wake up to and realize the world is still going on. My girlfriend is a zookeeper and animal behaviorist. She says their animals are becoming stressed. One of their African grey birds has been plucking his own feathers. She also mentioned that because they can't touch many of the animals due to the virus potentially spreading to another zookeeper, many of the animals are looking and acting depressive, not eating well, etc. The two pygmy hippos, six bison, giant anteater, and lowland taper I took care of I'm temporarily laid off, didn't have any change in behavior, sulcatus are still assholes. The pandas could finally get it on. 10 years they have been waiting for people to leave them alone. <laughs> Finally a thread I can answer, not a whole lot of change, but animals definitely missing out some enrichment of seeing guests, especially the otters that follow the kids in the glass underwater, take in, main wolves, bison, gibbons, bow peas, lions, etc all are about the same. Some of our animals that are skittish have been standing closer to the fence where guests usually are. Zebras. Gazelle. Which is nice. It's kinda this weird balance of being both more and less stressed. On the one side, I don't have to worry about keeper talks or BTS tours and I have more time to get everything done and spend more time with animals. On the other side we're skeleton crude and there's less of us to care for the whole zoo so I'm working a lot more in areas I don't usually cover as often. There's one kangaroo that still tries to box me while the emu is shifting. Face with rolling eyes. The one peacock still really doesn't like taking his medications of course. Man shrugging. I have noticed that the crows in the city are behaving a bit differently as well and are being a lot braver lol. Not a zookeeper here. But there was a story on the local news that the apes at the local zoo are apparently very bored because they don't have any people doing stupid things to watch anymore. The walruses are masturbating furiously. I take care of fish, but mostly jellyfish. The jellies don't give a single duck. It's been nice for me though because I can turn most of their display lights off so less algae grows and I have to do less scrubbing. My actual fish don't care. The beluga whales were screeching at the cleaning crew the other day which was hilarious. I don't work with the whales but it seems like they enjoy, or are at least interested in, seeing others around. Not a zookeeper, but just today I read a news article from my parents home country in the Caribbean that a 100 year old turtle finally laid eggs at the zoo because there was no foot traffic. Not a zookeeper but I work in a preschool that has a guinea pig. 
I got to bring him home since we shut down and he's got a huge personality. The room he's in is usually loud at school so I think he's enjoying the quiet time and really flourishing. Edit. Thank you all for your concerns. I plan to speak with my supervisors about what we can do to make sure Mohawk, guinea pig, has a better life. I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about guinea pigs and I appreciate your resources. As for my rabbit, him and the guinea pig do not share a cage haha. My rabbit is free roam and the guinea pig is in his two story cage. I've only let them have a few supervised visits together but they both seem to enjoy the company. I'm on day 25 of working at a closed zoo. I work with great apes, and their behavior has changed a bit. They are generally very interactive with the public, so they are seeking even more attention than usual from us. Some of them were suspicious at first of the overwhelming silence outside now. They were climbing up high and scanning the area looking for everyone. Edit I forgot to mention the wild animals. We are in a much larger park, and wild animals wander in all the time but always scatter when the crowds roll in. Now, there's bucks just walking around, raccoons and foxes out in the middle of the day, and the squirrels. My god, the squirrels. Wait. The penguins are trying to escape to Madagascar more often. There's a bit of a balance of different behaviors that is kinda interesting. With no visitors there is more time for enrichment. To get more creative with said enrichment. Trialing new things and exposure to enrichment that has to be supervised which the animals are loving. Then there are certain animals that do seem to miss having public around. Our younger, 5 years old, African penguins are really seeming to miss being able to swim at the glass and interact with people. Higher intelligence animals we have had to come up with new interactions. Lots of new training going on because they are missing the variety and variability of interactions with the public. The snakes don't give a duck though. The majority of our display birds could care less. However our birds that do flight outside or routinely meet guests and do more interactive behaviors with the public have definitely noticed and they are not cool with there being no guests around. Of course I can only guess. And while this is a bit anthropomorphic, I don't think they understand the change and seem somewhat hesitant to enter a new environment to them as we try to maintain their behavioral skills. One of the macaws who is also excited to fly is now always looking around. Pretty sure she expects for 50 to 100 people to be watching her. I work at a very well known and heavily visited zoo. I work with ambassador animals and it's nice to get a chance to take animals to areas of the zoo they wouldn't normally get a chance to go to because of traffic etc. But, the free ranging geese man. They are getting mean and territorial. Literal bridge trolls. They might have the hardest time adjusting when all the people come back and they can't control every pathway. Oh. Sheet. The animals. I'll. Ah. Be right back. We're enjoying a bit of privacy, actually. We turn them off to save power S. I've been watching the Taronga Zoo cams and the seals definitely keep trying to look through the glass for people while the tigers will pace for 40 minutes straight in front of the viewing window. I don't work at a zoo, but the horse farm I manage the horses won't leave me alone while I'm in their pastures. Normally they'll come up to say hi and get a nose kiss. But now I can't get anything done cause they want all of my attention. Large public aquarium. It's been only a little different for them. A few of the more timid animals are out and about a little more frequently than usual or changing their active hours. The giant pacific octopus for example. I expected to see more change in the touch tank areas. Horse show crabs don't notice or care which is expected but the white spotted bamboo sharks are also not really changing their behavior really either which is good to see. We have cleaner shrimp that have to have more regular food because they are not grooming people anymore but other than that it's just another shrimp day. At the Denver Zoo, the wolves are throwing a massive keg the pandas are doing blow off panda hookers asses the snakes in the reptile house are tying themselves in knots the giraffes are providing lookout for when the occasional worker strolls by the bears are piling up their supply of charm in next to the patch of buckwheat the rabbits will not stop duck eyeing. The monkeys have somehow gotten a hold of typewriters and are talking about some English dude with a goatee the zebras have taken to paint their stripes different colors and posing for bubblegum ad seriously. Send us condoms for these rabbits. Birth control pills. IUDs. Plan B. 
Jesus. Something. We're drowning a newborn rabbits over here. The monkeys have no one to throw poo at or watch them masturbate. As a player of Zoo Tycoon who always had such a failing zoo that it was always practically empty, I can assure you that the lions get very excited when they're released from their cages. Probably gonna get buried. But you can go to explore org and view live animal cams from zoos and sanctuaries all over the world. Not a zoo. But my dog is a therapy dog. As in I'm a fegray pissed and she comes to work with me and gets cuddles from my clients. But since I'm doing telehealth she still comes to work with me but nobody else shows up. She does a lot of crying. Cuddles from me doesn't seem to matter. Edit you guys. She's okay. Yes she misses her friends. I miss seeing them in my office too. But, she gets to spend all day with me. Goes on many long walks. Has the bestie dog friend at home and it is in general spoiled rotten. I'm not a zookeeper. But I just wanted to share that Prague Zoo, fifth best zoo in the world I believe, is documenting the animals and their behavior during quarantine on their new YT channel called Glimpses from the Zoo. And some of them are truly incredible. Madagascar, the film, was the first thing that popped into my head reading this. I hope it's something like this. Well the pandas are getting their duck on, apparently. Former keeper who worked at a zoo that closed during the winter. Most animals keep doing their thing and don't really notice the lack of people. However petting zoo animals definitely get more excited when keepers come in. I am a full time zookeeper and it's been difficult since we had to lay off all our seasonal part time help. More work for those of us still there. But the animals are all still getting top notch care. We've been able to take them out to new places they don't get to when guests are around. Like taking our porcupine to the manatee building and walking a cheetah past the rhinos. I think it's fun for them. But I haven't seen any animals acting differently. A lot of them probably don't notice or care. Anything in the reptile house for instance. I have to imagine animals like great apes and elephants are noticing and having some kind of reaction. In the zoo of Antwerp they notice that the chimps are interacting much more with each other now they don't have people to interact with. And a fish called Joe's came much closer to the edge of his aquarium. The giraffe cam is full of rhinos. Really made me stop for a second. There's actually a tiger at the Bronx Zoo. By me. That is confirmed to have covered. So. Perhaps not all too different than us people. One of our emus loves everyone and makes friends with any new keepers who visit him. And so by extension loves having guests around. With the zoo being closed, he became quite morose for a few days, not acting anything like his usually happy self. Because all the new friends he makes ever they were gone. So his keepers began asking people from other departments to stop by, take pictures, point him out, basically act like he's the center of attention. The hilarious little diva has been loving it. Penguin tour groups are happening. Chicago, St. Louis, Detroit, Tampa. Are penguins particularly curious animals or are they chosen to roam because they are somewhat easy to wrangle on land? Not a zookeeper but my aunt works as one at a nationally acclaimed zoo. She said they aren't acting that much different. However a lot of zoos are short on funding and are struggling to pay their employees. If you're an avid zoo goer like I am, renew your membership, if they have one, or make a donation. We've all had memories of going to the zoo as a kid and in these tough times, some zoos might go under. Please try to help preserve the magic zoos brought to us as children. I'm part of a large cat rescue looking after mostly ex-circus lions, tigers and panthers that were abused and made to perform for years. We've noticed that when there are visitors about, the same environment it created when they were in the circus, lots of people and noise, pictures being taken of them loud kids etc and because of this the cats are better behaved because they were treated roughly they know or knew the bad behavior in front of large crowds used to mean they would get beaten or starved later on as punishment it's small change and you certainly wouldn't know unless you spent a lot of time around them but it's certainly interesting they also only eat carol's husband away from prying eyes the chimpanzees have progressed to the bronze age the sea lions I work with miss watching guests in the underwater tunnel. 
sea otters not as much. I work at one of the most popular zoos in the UK, and because of that one of the largest, I'm working from gone right now so I can't comment firsthand but my co-workers are saying how curious the animals are. Every person that walk by they're very interested in. On a side note, I always assumed an empty zoo would be a much better place for the animals and would be much more enjoyable for the keepers. However, when I asked to keep a friend of mine she said she feels like she's lost part of her purpose without visitors. Our city zoo is closed for visitors. However all the routine feeding activities are in place. Looks like some animals found it weird that there are no people around. The other day a fully grown white tiger started jumping like a puppy when he saw a few of us after two weeks of solitude. That was a scene. The wolves don't really have any change in behavior. They get enough interaction from us handlers when we take them for walks or brush them or sit in their enclosure to chill. Hopefully we can get private tours up and running soon so we can have a steady flow of donations. It goes to the good boys and girls. I work at an animal shelter. Now only the people they like are around. They're all much less stressed. Sharks are still sharking. My sea turtle though is being exceptionally well behaved with divers. A rare treat. Most of our animals are more relaxed than they are with big crowds, or are acting mostly like they usually do. We have two bears that like to people watch, so they are definitely missing that source of entertainment, but are otherwise pretty normal. The biggest difference is that our pair of bald eagles mated for the first time in the decade that they've been housed together. We don't intentionally breed our animals. So there isn't a good nesting spot in their enclosure but they just scraped out a divot and laid two eggs in it. However, neither are incubating the eggs. And we don't have breeding permits for them so we can't keep the eggs. Very unpopular with our visitors. The geese that nest on the property are also getting extra territorial and threatening us keepers a lot more. Most are fine. We are trying to make the days as normal as possible. Shifting and cleaning at more or less the same times. Taking more time with animals that are used to a lot of public interaction. Helping hand feed the petting zoo animals. Taking out the education animals. I'm actually surprised how well the primates are doing. More so because they are used to the attention from the other staff that are no longer here. The only reaction I've seen. Myself and several keepers and maintenance crew were standing outside one of the cat enclosures and when she came out she looked startled that there was a group of people there. I work with a lot of geriatric animals at the zoo so it's not surprising that they have become a lot more relaxed since we closed to the public. X, our arctic fox spends a lot more of his time basking in the sun instead of spending time in his back holding area trying to avoid screaming children. Control your children at the zoo please. I was really hoping to see. The gorillas are learning. It's harder to keep them in their pens. It's unlike anything I have ever seen. The communicate and work together to seemingly try to escape. The zoo we go to has been taking various animals for a walk about around the zoo to meet other animals safe for them but also so the animals can see what is causing all the noise they hear. They say it has reduced the animals stress. Obviously, they're not taking tigers for a walk but I think it's a great idea. Pandas are having six now. Late to the party. Depends on the species and even the individual animal. The kangaroos and wallabies who live in our walkthrough enclosure are loving the free roaming throughout the day and not having to stay off the paths. This is making finding them more difficult as they are moving away from their normal rest spots. This goes for all animals in interactive enclosures actually. Some of the birds are missing the attention. The wild ravens and seagulls are a bit upset about the lack of easy to steal food. The elephants are enjoying being able to come out for walks at any time during the day as opposed to in the morning before opening. A lot of the animals have noticed. We compare it to having 300 channels of cable TV to suddenly 10 channels. The apes, cats, and birds probably notice the most and get excited when any of us walk by. We actually have our firm instructions to take a regular walk around our big cat area because one of the snow leopards is sad from the lack of people calling him handsome daily. Shoot, I gotta go get wasted. Thanks for listening. If I spark joy, hit me with a like and subscribe. I make new videos every day. Till then, check out another video or leave a comment. I love you. Have a great day you wonderfully gorgeous person. Person.